just going to take you guys on a little walk here in my backyard. I'm going to start over here with this Himalayan blackberry and what I believe is a non-native weevil hanging out on it. Got another little weevil species here on the same plant. A lot of weevils here in the backyard. Let's see. If you just look around long enough, you can usually find lots of things. Coming out at night is always more interesting even than coming out during the day. See a weevil hanging out right there. I'll follow this branch down. See another weevil making its way down the branch. Come over here to this plant, and there's a moth larva of some kind feeding on this leaf. Work our way down the stem here a little bit, and then another probably moth larva. Here, another large weevil feeding on the leaf. You can see that this poor plant has been ravaged, just this one branch here, but it's part of a larger bush, and so it's doing okay. I can see right up here another. Well, where are we? Another weevil hanging out. I haven't quite figured out how to orient. There it is. I'm usually holding my phone the other direction for Instagram, but making one of my backyard bug videos. For the YouTube audience now. There, I was zoomed in a little bit too far. These weevils, they're definitely doing their part to keep the Himalayan blackberry down, but I think it's a case of non-natives feeding on non-natives. Oh, there goes another one. These plants here are native though. Weevils are pretty cute. You gotta give them that. Even if they don't belong here. Oh, we got a springtail coming to say hello to the weevil and goodbye. Pretty sure it just did what springtails do best. Jumped away. Oh, Another weevil, larger one. Walk over here, take a look. So, you can see where the ivy has attached itself to the wall of my house. And down here, we have some sheet web spiders. Let's see one right back here in the corner. Give it a little poke. You saw it move just a little bit there. And then up above, yet another sheet web spider. We'll get a look at the structure of their web here on this next one up. They're called sheet web spiders because they do 
it's been what is somewhat like a sheet. From this angle you can see that this one is sort of funneling debris from the trees above. And the spiders, they rest down on the bottom of their sheet webs. This has some nice colors reflecting off the light. So this is the top side. And that's the bottom of the spider. And then from underneath here, we get the angle on it. Can peek in there at some of the other colors on the opposite side. Another good example here of the structure and shape of the web. A few pine needles have fallen into it and some other parts of the Douglas fir trees. Moving up against the scudder here, we see another sheet web spider. Put my finger near this one so you can get a little bit of a size perspective. They're fairly small spiders, extremely common. And then this web here is particularly interesting. We have a female right there. And then what I presume to be her mate there, sheet web spiders, Linophiids, the family Linophiidae. They're renowned for having males with extremely large pedipalps. When you see a spider like this, or any spider that appears to have these big balls on its pedipalps, that marks it as a male. And interestingly, where are you? There you are. We've got another male that's hanging out in the vicinity here. Perhaps waiting for a sneaky opportunity to breed with this female. Up here, looks like we have a small Peristia tota, a common house spider. And Another one, perhaps, some kind of comb-footed spider related to black widows and false widows. Another sheet web, and we could just follow the ladder of spiders up into the sky. Let's see what else we might find up here. Some other very small spiders. Now there, something extremely small. I have no idea what it is. A little mite of some kind, but we'll never know. Now just below it, you there, you can see a polyxenidae bristly millipede. It's nearly a full-grown specimen of this millipede species. Very unusual millipedes. You can see another one there hiding just below. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer in on that one because it has a little bit more patterning. There we go. Bristly millipedes. Lots to see out here at night. There. This here is a Pomoa spider. Take it in a little closer. Once we get the focus, they're colorful spiders. Reddish, brown, and having a little trouble getting the focus just right here. Glossy. Some nice patterning on their abdomens. some interesting fungus down here. Whenever I see fungus, I'm always looking under it to see if there are any fungus beetles hanging out. I can't quite get the angle on this, so perhaps when I watch back later I'll see something 
crawling on the bottom of that.